In this third part of Leon's first session, you will see early coaching. Judy will ask Leon green and purple questions. Her main messages are, don't rush and believe in your child. All right. right now, he doesn't have a strong point. Work on a point with him, though. Do it separately. Make him point to things around the house. You want to get a nice, firm point. Okay, right now it's a struggle for him to differentiate his fingers. Every so often he gets it, but it's not fully volitional yet. You know what I mean? He can't quite control it yet, which is why I went back to the short pencil. Use a short pencil. This one's even too long. I might even break it and get it to be kind of like a nub, just so because he's such little hands still and he's a little guy. You know, so even now I might just, if I can, break it. I can't. So um, I'll see if I can find one. But that's the idea, is you want it to be short in his hand so he really has control. Got you don't want it dangling like this. Right. Okay. Right. So if I can break, I'll keep trying. But the second thing is, so you're going to use the stencils with the pencil. Okay. I, you know, I do tend to like to try to, to see what boards people do best on. But because he doesn't have a strong point yet, that's what I'm going to decide there. Okay. Okay. Judy uses the stencils with a pencil when a student doesn't have a strong point. If a student can form a point with their finger, she may use a sensory board. I know that probably yeah. you've been taught the color, what the hey. color coding means. Yes. Yeah. So for the moment, you're only on green and purple. That's right. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's your green and purple. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if you know the order of, of prompts. Of the hand gestures, yeah. Okay, but do you know, but we don't start there really. Okay, I, I start typically, in his case, you might even need to use hand over hand, son. So at an occasion, you saw me grabbing his hand and pushing it through. And then, of course, you want to drop that as soon as possible. But the most important thing right now is that he's successful. If you got to do it, you do it. You do it for three days, then you try to stop doing it. You want to stop hand over hand coaching as soon as possible because we fall into habits quickly and you don't want to have to break them later. We need to learn to find the letters with coaching that fades away. Okay, come back to that. Then you also saw me do a lot of this, and this he does need, okay? Auditory cues. I'm tapping underneath or on top of the letter. It's just to draw his eyes over there. So the idea of prompting or coaching, whatever word you want to use, is you want to use the least invasive prompt, but to make him successful. Which means if he can't be successful without hand over hand, yeah. I'm going to hand over hand him. Right. And then drop it as soon as I can and go down to the auditory cue, which is next down, okay, which I did. Then I tried it without even the auditory cue, just a big hand gestures and, you know, over here, over here, even clicking like this to draw him over, okay. So I'm basically constantly trying to drop my level of prompt to see how he does. The most invasive coaching is also the most supportive. Please give us enough support to be successful, but constantly probe to reduce the coaching level so we can learn to find the letters ourselves. Um, if you're familiar with the word probing, I don't know if you know that word in terms of this. What do you do is you'll teach the skill. Let's say we're really working on getting him to spell his name. Okay. Right? Which, you know, obviously he knows how to spell. Okay. Is not remember I said to you, monkey? Yeah. Not questioning whether or not you yeah. know it. I already know you know it. I already know you know how to read. Okay. So let's just do this. Show your mom. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you're going to spell your name. Okay. So top shelf, up and get it. Now notice the board is not down yet. Right. I'm holding the board up here. Right. I'm telling him where to look. I'm, I'm getting him set and ready. He's going to be shifting your eyes to the top shelf, right in the middle. Okay? Top shelf, in the middle, up and get it, up with your eyes. Where is that letter for your name? Get your eyes on the board. Where are your eyes? Get them on the board, Leon. There you go. Look and L. See how he was successful? I saw his eyes, look at the board, and then I let him go. Bottom shelf, get down on the left, down and get it. Move your eyes. Come on, you. Yep, get that pencil in the right place, though. Okay, L M. What's the next letter in your name? Look, look, look. Where is it? All the way. Good. E. Next two letters. Downstairs, Leon. Look, look, look. Look at the board. Look at the board. Get the pencil in the right place. Okay. L N E N. Down and get it. Find it. Where is it? That's right. O M. Where's the last letter in your name? Come on, monkey head. You're doing rocking it here. Get it down on the bottom left. Down, 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 down. There you go, right in. Hey, he did the last one without looking with that. He was using his peripheral vision, but no, I usually do make them look. But the thing is, I don't just, for the sake of this. Okay. So, so you're very, very capable of doing this. Okay, so don't rush. 
if you need, I didn't put that on here, but you know, if you need hand over hand, you use it. Yeah, I watch your videos on multiple times, the communication for me. Um, no. Leon's mother watched the C4A instructional videos several times before coming to this session. We encourage all families to follow her example. I had a question. When you say do not rush, do you mean do not rush with bringing down the board? That's or? correct. Okay. What people do is this. I'll show you. Use oil. Let me just write this down. I'm always trying to do too many things at once. All right. So you want to use those two if you need them. Okay. What I need is this. This is what people will do. They want, they want to spell Judy. And they go, okay, spell Judy. And they go, uh-uh. And the kid's poking all over here. And they're like, uh, it, it, it's, in the, it's in the top. <laughs> okay. So what I mean is that's why it's like really methodical. The board is up. You don't have to do anything yet. Okay. So you top shelf all the way up on the left in the corner, really specific. Then I'm bringing the board down. If his eyes and hands start to drift, I can say, up, 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 get it in the corner. And I can correct him before he makes the mistake because now I have time. Right. right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, so that's what I mean by do not rush. Don't shove the board in front of him right. without giving him any clue of where he's supposed to be looking. Not yet. Okay. Eventually, of course, you know, you'll have a line at a board and you'll be sitting here going, and he'll be tapping away, right? right? But you're not there yet. Right. Okay. So that's what I mean by don't rush. You give the prompt before the board comes down. You use your hand prompt, you use whatever you have to. Top, you know, top shelf, up here, up here, all the way on the top left corner. Up and get it, up, 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 and then the board comes down. And you may be waving in front of this thing, but all I care about right now, right. get into that letter successfully. Right. As often as you can the first time. Yeah. Okay, if he, miss, if he misses it by one, yeah. you try to say, shift your eyes next door, inch over, inch left. Right. Okay, you try to get him to correct a little bit because self-correction is a really critical step. Yeah. Mistakes don't matter. Right. Fixing them does. And I say to the guys all the time, when I'm typing, I make a million mistakes. Right. Doesn't matter. I just correct it and move on. Right. Okay. Right. That means I shouldn't be fumbling when I'm... <laughs> Yours shouldn't be fumbling, which is what everybody does. Okay? Hey, hey. So yes, everybody fumbles, so please give yourself a break. You will get this down with practice. So this is the this is why the things that are super important you will need to learn to use the least invasive prompt that makes your yourself successful. And if that least invasive prompt is hand over hand, it is. That's it. You drop it as soon as you can, but you want it to be successful. The more successful he is, the happier you'll be. The happier you'll be, the happier he'll he'll be. And what's really important, everybody knows this instinctually, but they don't think about it is we know scientifically that people's motor skills improve when they feel good, yeah. which is why there's a home field advantage for the baseball team, right? Yeah. Why, you, why do you clap? Because it improves their motor skills because they're feeling good. We're social animals, okay, same idea. If he's successful, you'll be happy. If you're happy, he'll be happy. His motor skills will get better. And I saw it right here with you, like yeah. when you cheered him on immediately. He's, he's, like, he's like, whoa, this is great. I can do that. And I can do it. I can do this. I can be successful. <laughs> Okay? Important, if the non-speaker makes more than two errors on a letter, you lift the board. Okay? okay? So you don't let him just keep tapping. He, he wants to get to the K, he hits the M, he hits the Q. Board comes up, I reset. Okay? Improve your prompt. It's on the top, towards the left, up and get it, up and get it, right into the K. Okay? So you just do an I reset. Okay? Over time, you'll need to work on keeping your voice going continually. I'm not going to even bother with that today. Don't worry about it. Okay, these are just most common errors. You can, you'll see those constantly. You can read that at your own time. Okay, remember that once the board is down, don't start doing this. Yeah. Okay, because that's a form of prompting. Yeah. Get in the habit of the board is down, the board is down. It doesn't move. Flex your bicep if you need to to make sure you're holding it rigidly. Right. And it's uh, above the right knee between the nipple and the navel. Right. right? Yeah. Basically, you want to think about it that his hand swings forward. Smack in the middle of the board. Got it. Okay, so for a lot of people it starts to float and it floats <laughs> and it floats up like they're reading a book, but that's not the proper placement. Right. Okay. This is not yet important for you, but it will be. Take your time to check where you are in the word. If the word is a long word, like discombobulated, with a lot of parents, they're concentrating so hard in everything they're doing, they'll go, 
Now how to spell it? O D I S C O C O C O C O C O. And I'm, I've had her do as many as four times. Repeat the same two or three letters because they're not st stopping and looking and saying. Okay, D I S C O M B. The next letter is C O M. And so spell it out loud. Look, take the time. Remember, you're not in a hurry. Okay. And of course, this one you already know. Yeah. And I, this is really hard for our parents who, like me, whose kids were in their 20s mm -hmm. and had been told their entire lives that their IQs were 40. Yeah. It's a very hard habit to break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but they won't spell for you if you treat them like they're idiots. Right. They won't. Judy is talking about breaking the habit of not presuming competence. Please talk to us like you would any other child or adult our age. They won't. Okay. So, let me see if there's anything else on here. I just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I wrote this thing because this is my big thing, okay? N in your, know with every molecule in your body that your non-speaker will talk to you. He will. Yeah, I believe that 100%. Otherwise he, I wouldn't he's already shown on. us. You have just been a fly on the wall for a coaching session with one of the world's best teachers. Keep watching and you will be amazed. In this session, Judy showed many early coaching tips. You saw how to practice pointing around the house and use a short pencil for small hands. Start with green and purple questions in the lessons. Remember to give your coaching before the board comes down and don't rush. Use the least invasive coaching level for the typer's success. Reset the board if the typer hits two wrong letters and don't move the board when it is down. And most important of all, believe in your child.